Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today I would like to demonstrate one uh, Raspberry Pi uh, console. So there used to be a very cool uh, small device sells online. This is the very famous U console and it was very well designed. However, when I wanted to check out and uh, somehow this so well designed uh, product is everywhere out of stock. I'm not sure what happened behind this uh, company, probably because of the very low volume production or sales, and that makes the company very hard to maintain the, the production line. So that is uh, very sad. And uh, I wish I can uh, duplicate some of the design, at least uh, uh, integrate a keyboard and a screen on the Raspberry Pi so that I can use them on my the robot project. So let's get back to this, uh, my own design. So it's basically a very simple 3D printing frame. And I have this uh, slot to put this uh, Bluetooth uh, keyboard, but uh, the quality is really not so good. It's uh, uh, made of plastic and uh, the, the button are not uh, very bouncy. So uh, you have to bear with this kind of uh, low cost product but it's working. So as you can see, it's controlling the, the screen. Then there's no wire connection so that the, the entire system is uh, simplified. Uh, let me put it back. And uh, there is a five inch uh, screen HDMI uh, connected to the Raspberry Pi uh, HDMI mini or micro. So you have to buy this cable. One side is uh, HDMI micro and uh, the other side is uh, a normal uh, normal size HDMI. And then the power is supplied by the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so the Raspberry Pi is connected to the case. There are two screws uh, below, but uh, you don't have to screw it on the case because uh, it's quite firm. As you can see, there is this structure to hold the Raspberry Pi and the fan is, is running. So in the future, I will gradually install the library of uh, the robot and the Kiwi and uh, make this a uh, control center for the Kiwi robot. I have uh, uploaded all the files for so far is for Raspberry Pi uh, version 4 and uh, I also purchased uh, the Raspberry Raspberry Pi 5 and uh, make a slight adjustment uh, from the case so that everything uh, can be slotted in and integrate everything inside this case. Uh, I have to say is uh, the design philosophy is far away from this uh, clock Pi, the U console. Uh, but uh, so far, this is what I can have uh, in-house. Uh, there's no battery location for so far. The reason is that uh, behind this uh, screen, uh, there's not much space. So even if I put one or two cells behind the screen, it won't be last for a very long time. So um, you have to bring a USB-C charger to supply this uh, small device. 
But overall, it's a functional computer that you can bring with you, except those uh, cables. Um, it looks like there's no uh, decent way to hide these cables unless I can add some uh, uh, slot on, the, on this uh, 3D print part. So far, I plan to proceed with uh, this uh, arrangement and later uh, when the robots are running, and then I will consider adding more details. So you can visit the site and uh, give me some comments, or you can also download the files from this uh, GitHub page. So thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.